The brothers from Egypt were cooking out of a food truck for years, but they finally got their first brick and mortar behind me, Momo's Kebab. But what they didn't expect was for the second time this year to be a victim of a smash and grab. It's 4 a.m. You can see this truck has no license plates at all. Police believe the truck's stolen. The driver reverses up onto this curb and into Momo's kebab, breaking the door frame. All the way like this and then could jump right here and then boom, broke the door. And then he, the alarm is start and then he run away. But not before police say he also smashed their neighbor's door, Yummy Kitchen. This door was all broken. At Momo's, the smash and grab was all smash, no grab. He didn't steal, thank God, he didn't steal anything. Police believe his motive was to steal, but that he drove off after not being able to make entry into Momo's. Still, this is second time happened with us, actually. The second time in nine months. See that rock on the ground? Someone threw that through their window in April. He steal all the register and then he run away. A register full of cash. Here you can see police entering right after it happened. And we closed for whole months, actually. And they stopped accepting cash after this, so it was discouraging when it happened again this week, adding to their losses. Thank God he not, he not stealing anything, but we have to close for another month and this is a Christmas time and the new year and this is the time we're doing our money and this is this is our time we doing the business. We make our food with the love, you know what I'm saying? But this is happening again and hopefully, hopefully, hopefully he will catch him as soon as possible. And police could use your help. The suspect is driving what appears to be a burgundy Ford F-150 with a unique style canopy on it. Meantime, at Momo's, when the business reopens, he says, Please come try our food. If you'd like to support Momo's Kebab, perhaps by enjoying some fresh homemade falafel or chicken shawarma, they are planning on reopening after the new year, though the exact date is not set yet. Reporting in Renton, I'm Maddie White, King 5 News.